All right, so try 32, let's do this. What's up ladies and gentlemen, after testing those effects, something special happened. Nvidia sponsored this video and sent over their latest GPU, the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. One of the most powerful graphics cards with RTX accelerated ray tracing in renders. That means, now this is possible. For those who don't know what a GPU is or does, a GPU or graphics processing unit helps your computer with encoding and decoding frames. This makes playback smoother and rendering much faster, even when adding heavy effects. The most amazing part of this is that I use Cinema 4D in combination with the Octane render engine, which is also one of the best options when it comes to fast GPU accelerated renders. So yeah. I quote, Octane is the world's first and fastest GPU accelerated unbiased physically correct renderer. Simplified, Octane is a GPU render engine that uses a way of calculating final rendered images that aims to be photorealistic. This is in combination with the brand new NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti is just literally fire. Look at how real time I can see my 3D scenes photo real like this is crazy and will really improve my work it's also the future of gaming it can bring ids to life with rtx real time ray tracing in unreal engine and unity i'm sure you saw a bunch of these things online because it's going viral at the moment if you are interested in finding out more about the nvidia geforce rtx 2080 ti check out the link in the description below now let's see how i created the iron man hover effect in adobe after effects by the way, if you are interested in the 3D model that I used in this video, the Iron Man suit, I got this actually from TurboSquid.com, my personal favorite library when it comes to 3D models because they have such a big library to choose from and you always find what you're looking for. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in that. The workflow was pretty much similar to what we're about to see. The only difference is that we're animating a 3D character instead of myself. So yeah, let's get started. I used a camera on a tripod and a portable green screen behind me. This is not necessary. You can also rotoscope yourself, but I thought that would save us some time. By the way, we currently have an intern working for us. He's standing behind the camera right now. He truly is a big help, but he can be a little weird sometimes. Okay, so we have our footage, one with the green screen where I act like I'm about to fly and then a clean plate where you can only see the background. I did a quick key and a rough mask around myself and then I rotoscoped my feet to complete the shot with Mocha AE. I'm not going to jump too much into detail for this as we have a ton of other videos where we dive into the details. We are here to see how we created the Iron Man hover effect. So we have ourselves keyed out like this and now we're going to put ourselves back in the shot. Press P on the keyboard and then create a keyframe at the beginning of your action then move 20 frames forward in time and then move your position up. As you can see in this shot I don't have any shadow so I'll pick a part of the shadow before my animation and mask out the shadow. Place that under your new clip but as you can see it's not long enough so first I'm going to right click on this part and reverse the time of the shadow. That way we don't see a cut but it will be transitioning seamlessly. Then duplicate this shot and remove the time reverse effect and then move that at the back. Keep doing this until your shot is filled with a complete shadow. Then pre-compose the shadows and we can now animate the position to go to the right the further I move up. We can also animate a Gaussian blur effect on the shadow to make it softer the higher we are. Now simply select all the keyframes and then right click keyframe assistance easy ease. Jump into the graph editor and animate it to be a smooth animation. Alright almost there now we want some position randomization to sell the effect. For this we'll use a simple expression animation. Search for the effect slider control and add it to your layer. Duplicate it once so we have two slider controls in total. Now alt click on the position for your layer where you move up and write the expression wiggle open parentheses. Pick whip the first slider control and then add a comma. Pick whip the second slider control 
close the parentheses, and now we can animate our expression. In the beginning, we don't want any animation. So my first slider, I'm going to set to 0.5 and my second to zero, then add a keyframe at the beginning of my animation. Now move where I'm completely in the sky and set the second one to 100. Now we have something like this. Now let's create a new point light and duplicate it four times. Make sure the Z depth of the light is set to zero and then move it all in position to the hands and the feet. Then parent the light to your animated layer so it sticks to yourself when you're moving up. Now the light will stick to your character. All you can do is position keyframe it a little bit because my hands were moving a little. That way we can keep it in the position of our hands. Once you have all your lights, make sure they are called similar like light. Then we create a new solid layer and add an optical flares effect from Video Copilot. I'm going to pick a simple glow element and then click OK. Then make the color a soft orange color to emulate the light. Now we can animate the scale from 0 to 100 and then back to 20. This is something to initiate the engine of the Iron Man suit. And so we have this. Now lastly we need to add some smoke and fire. So first let's create some smoke. Create a new solid layer and add trap code particular and solo this layer so we can concentrate on all the elements. In the emitter tab, change the particles per second to zero at the start and then keyframe it over 10 frames to 250 or so. Change the emitter type to lights and then click on choose names and rename it to the name of your light so don't include the numbers. Like my light is light 1 so I'm just going to enter the name light. The emitter size XYZ to something like 10 should be good. In the particle tab we can change the light to something like 0.7 and the particle type will change that to a cloudlet with 100% better. The size of the particle I'm going to set to 25, opacity to 2 and a randomness of 100. Of course, to really narrow it down, tweak all these settings to match your footage and to your satisfaction. For the opacity over life we're going to use a preset to simply fade out our particles. And for the color over life use a simple gradient and use two smoke like colors. Then lastly in the physics tab I'm going into the air tab and then change the turbulence field position to 250. Also add some gravity to your shot so the smoke actually goes down while I'm up in the air. I went for something like 500 in the gravity. Then bring this layer below the flare and now you have your smoke. And now to make the fire simply duplicate your smoke layer and we're going to adjust a few settings to get a fire look. First of all increase the opacity of your particles as we don't want it to be so subtle as a smoke. Lower the size of the particles, lower the life so we have a shorter flame. Enable motion blur for this layer as well so it doesn't look so sharp. And then lastly change the color to a fire look, so some orange kind of red tones. So in my gradient I'll add a few points to get something like this. And voila, already a nice result. I also added a simple burn mark on the floor from Video Copilot's Action Essentials just to sell the effect a little bit more and also add some subtle dust flying to the camera. And that's it, we are now Iron Man. Alright, so try 32, let's do this. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. Definitely hit the notification bell so you stay notified when we upload new videos and also check out our website. We have a bunch of awesome stuff to offer and if you buy something from the website, you help to support the channel. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. By the way, if you're still watching, we're making some big changes.